throw some more on you. Here we go. Okay, look at this, y'all. Potato volcano. Oh, mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. that was messy, but so damn good. That's Tasha, that's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We gon' eat a little, prank a little. Our story time is the best. Have you LOL when you click play? No, nah, this ain't no clickbait. What's up y'all, it's Tasha, I'm back with another video. Before I get into the video, I wanna ask you guys to please thumbs this video up if you like it, share, comment, subscribe if you are new here. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome to our family. If you've been here before, welcome back. Uh, this is the OGV family, y'all, only good vibes. So hashtag OGV, if you a part of the family or if you wanna be here or whatever. Um, today I'm doing a highly requested video, y'all. And it's a lot of y'all that have been asking me, please Tasha, can you do a volcano potato Mugbang to see how many I can do. I have 10 potatoes here, y'all. How many do y'all think I'm gonna eat? Anyway, y'all, let's get into the video. Back, back. All right, all right, y'all, so you know what? Okay, so I do have a topic today. I'm gonna get into the topic. I do have potato volcanoes here. Y'all know that's my favorite. I'm gonna do those. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna break. Ow! Yeah, I'm gonna break this. Oh, I didn't want to. Okay, good. I didn't want to get this meat because this is going to be conserved for Stephanie's video, which is coming soon. Because I didn't really want too much king crab for my potato volcanoes. Just enough. Okay. So, I'm just going to try to deshell the crab real quick so I can um, have it. Because the star of the show are the potatoes. Okay. Oh, I'm breaking these like a boss. Okay. Yes, y'all. So I'm not rushing through this video, I promise. I mean, I guess I kind of am. Kind of not and kind of am. I love y'all and all, but I'm taking my baby to the movies tonight. We going to see a movie that she wanted to see, Hustlers. Um, she'll probably stay awake during this movie. She usually doesn't stay awake when we go to the movies. But, excuse me, this is a movie that she wants to see. All right, so I'm just going to get started. I'm just gonna get started. Let me see. Uh, I'm gonna do this potato since it's already broke. And I'm just gonna do it like this. Okay, throw that. Throw the shrimp on there. Put a little piece of, little piece of crab. Oh yeah, I got a new spoon. I love it. My baby got this for me. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh yeah. Oh, this is about to be hot. Hopefully I don't burn my hands. Oh yeah, burnt it. Whoa! <sighs> Sorry y'all. I really don't be wanting to cuss. But sometimes, okay look at this y'all. Potato volcano. This is only half of one. We gonna count a half a potato as a whole one y'all. Mm-hmm. Mm Mmm, that sauce is just so good. This sauce is fun. Mmm, hot. I need you to cool off, bro. Mmm. Mmm-mm. Mmm-mm. So good. Let's go to the next volcano. Let's dig you out a little bit. Dig you out. It's fine. It's all right, y'all. It's fine. Don't mind me. Don't mind the things I say. Shrimp. I already ate a little bit of crab, so I don't need to put a crab on there. This is still the first potato volcano, y'all. I mean potato. So I'm only down one. Half of one. Here. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm. That was messy, but so damn good. Mm, mm. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Mm, 
Holy mm -hmm. sauce is nice and burnt. I need to give Steph a um a thumbnail, y'all. I'm gonna put that potato back. That potato is a little hot. All right, this one is cool. This one is cool. It's got a little area for me to lay. Matter of fact, what I'm gonna do is throw some sauce on the bottom. Let that drip off. Burning my fingers and all. Get the shrimp, put it here. Put the sausage. Crab. This gonna fall. And I need some onion. That's what I, ooh, I love to put the onion on there. You know what? You ain't got enough sauce. Let me throw some more on you. Here we go. Whoo! Mm -mm -mm. This is so good. It's so hot. I don't know how I'm going to open my mouth this wide. But I'm going to try. This is not easy. I need another person here to do this with me. Mm -mm -mm. But the flavor is freaking superb. I love my sauce, y'all. I missed it. And I know I told y'all I love Dame sauce more than mine, but I don't know. Today, I mean, it really, it really is different for different days. Like today, I had to have my sauce. I had to. I had to. So, today my favorite is my sauce. Let me throw a sausage. Oh y'all, a couple people's irritated that I liked, um, I said that I like Dame sauce better than B-Love's. We all like different stuff. Some of us like ketchup and some of us like mustard. And some of us are gonna like something better than the other. They still both good. Mm. Potatoes ain't no joke, y'all. Not one joke. Boy. I'm gonna do it like this. Mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. All right. Let me take a little bit of the potato out so we can have like a boat. All right. Let me get some crab, sausage. We're not gonna do the shrimp this time. I'm just gonna get some sauce. Lay that sucker right there. I'm gonna squeeze a little lemon on it. I usually never squeeze lemon on my stuff, but how this works here we go let's do that this is good this is really good let's get our sausage one sausage stop cheating Tosh oh let me get my shrimp shrimp who y'all killing me with this potato okay now here we go. Third one. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. -mm. Oh, I forgot my thumbnail. This is a hot mess. I'm about to uh, do my topic, but I'm gonna eat a couple more shrimp. Mm. I love potatoes, y'all, but come on now. Y'all already know. Potatoes are very filling. I feel like they blow up in your stomach. Meat, not so much. 
Let me get some onion. No. So, basically, so I'm gonna topic. Y'all help me out on this one too. <clears throat> All right. She says, "Hi, ladies. So I have a little dilemma. I've been married for two years and have been with my husband for ten. There's been some recent family issues that are starting to cause problems between us." And I've tried to take talk, have talks with him and some things he will take my side and the others he doesn't. I'm sorry, and the others he doesn't say anything or he goes straight into defense. I asked him if he still loved me, not just because we have kids and built a life. Mind you, we still live at his mom's house. I hate being here and we plan to move out. I don't want his mom coming with. I've been real stressed. And my ex before my husband has reached out to me. All friendly talk he has a girlfriend as well I have no intentions of anything with him but right now at this point in my life I've been through a lot and I don't feel bad should I please help me do I move on I love my husband and would hate to do that but it seems he can't cut the umbilical cord okay so we didn't read that message we didn't get around to it and then she sent us a message um, a couple days ago and said hey ladies I know you guys didn't discuss my topic which I understand completely but I made a decision I moved out I took my two children which are seven and three with me back at my parents house my husband and I are on good terms we're just trying to I'm just trying to open his eyes and I was literally fed up his family was expecting me to do things for them and I had it I have my own family to take care of and now they have been saying some things on Facebook about me just because I left <laughs> I had every reason to my husband understands and he is on his grind with getting us a house because he does understand but I'm unsure how to feel with his family I never want to see them again I have nothing to say but it's my children I think about advice please I mean yeah I understand that you had to leave and um, his family shouldn't be getting in your business that's my opinion his family shouldn't get in your business um, one question I have is you mentioned your ex and I know you said you guys are friend, fa friendly or whatever, but I feel like maybe for you to even mention him, you're, there's something. You mentioned that he had a girlfriend, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. If you know that you're feeling some kind of way, um, that's something you have to deal with, but you didn't say that, that you were feeling some kind of way, so I'm not going to go into that. As, as far as you leaving or feeling bad for talking to the ex, I mean, you can be, feel bad for maybe not being honest with your husband because you feel like he's gonna feel some kind of way you're omitting information you're not necessarily lying but some people say that's the same thing okay um as far as you leaving i understand that you had to leave you didn't want to be in his family's house and that's understandable and then for them to go and talk crap about you on facebook um a lot of times family just takes their own family's side you know they don't always look at excuse me they don't always look at the reason why they just look oh she left my son or she left my brother forget her um but those are your kids aunts uncles grandparents whatever the case is and um if they were good to the kids i don't see why um you would take them away they do need to respect you as their um niece nephews cousins grandchild's mother so if they don't i mean i would just talk to them myself be like you know what you guys can feel however you feel about me but please do not disrespect me or be you know talk about me in front of my children because a lot of people tend to do that they think children aren't listening but the seven-year-old is old enough to listen and know what that person is saying about their mom um so i would definitely maybe bring it up to them um as far as your husband he don't know how to cut the umbilical cord i don't blame you for leaving um i understand people are some people are close to their parents some people are close to their family and that's fine but you still need to know how to be an adult especially when, once you have children once you've gotten married and had kids um it's traditional that you move on and grow up and have your own family and you no longer you can take advice from your family members but you this is so hard because people get defensive about their family members say I had an issue with someone in my family and um, 
I was angry with them or whatever. And my, and, and Stephanie um, was angry too because you know, they're hurting me or whatever the case is. I would be fine with that. But what if she started going overboard, you know, calling them out their names or or saying I want to fight, you know, something like that, then it's, it's different. Uh, people get defensive about family members all the time. And even though you're his wife, he probably would get defensive about you when they talk about you too. So it's kind of just a part of, of life, I guess. I personally would never... Um, if Stephanie had an issue with a family member, I wouldn't get in it. I wouldn't be like, yeah, they this way or that. Mm -mm. I don't get in stuff like that. I just feel like it's not my place. But then I don't live with them. You guys lived in that situation. So you probably had to speak your piece about whatever the issues were. And so that's understandable. Um, me, I say stay out of family. I don't care if they're your husband, wife, whatever. Stay out of their personal family stuff because people deal with their family the way they deal with their family. Um, I hope I get good advice. I feel like I didn't. I'm not always going to have all the answers. Probably going to have them half the time. I'm not even going to have all the answers, y'all, because some situations I don't, I haven't been in and I don't understand. So, if y'all got something better to tell her or anything to tell her, please, please do that. I do as many volcanoes as I could. I'm done with this video because I'm just done. I'm about to go. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think. We do vlogs. Stephan Tasha Vlogs. Link is in the description below. Set your notifications to all so you be reminded of daily uploads, live streams, premieres. I know I said that all too fast and Stephanie's probably going to be irritated while she edits this, but it's fine because I think she said I'm editing this video. Yes. Nope. This is going to be an unedited video, y'all. Okay. She's going to be mad as hell. Until next time, only good vibes. Peace.